Why did you grow a beard? For protection. So this is the video you've all been waiting a long time for. We are finally going to water jet Mitchell's hand. <laughs> Nothing. Not a scratch. Holy cow, it really worked. So our water jet is broken right now. Earlier this week, the pump on the water jet just exploded. Pump pieces, more pump pieces. And there should be a pump right there, but it's not. But it's being fixed right now, and so in the meantime, for the next two weeks probably um, we're gonna have to make do without that we're gonna be shooting a bunch of food at cinder blocks with our air cannon will a banana break a cinder block so we've got bananas we've got eggs we've got some hard-boiled eggs we've got some gross looking old corn on the cob and we've got some butter because why not here's our cinder block wall there's the cannon and uh, yep that's a banana a real banana Yep. So we had an obvious hit, evidenced by that mushy stuff there, but none of us even saw it. It was too fast. <laughs> The banana could not withstand the pressure and it just came out as a mist. Do you think anything different is gonna happen with the egg? Hard boiled or? I don't, I don't think it matters. Let's try a ping pong ball and see what it does. Ping pong ball. The ping pong ball is stronger than a banana. It stays together, so, but that's what it looks like after it hits the cinder block. So now we're gonna try and put a ping pong ball in behind the banana to see if the ping pong ball will push the banana out in one piece. Good thing you have those cut resistant gloves on. Can you imagine what would happen if you didn't? I could get cut up. Something happened. On the high speed, it looks like the ping pong ball shoots through the banana because it comes out first. <laughs> and you can see like pieces of peel, but like then it just obliterates and turns to vapor. Like as there's soon nothing as, left. As soon as that peel hits the cinder block, it just disappears. It goes into a different dimension. Okay, next up, raw egg. These are the smallest eggs we could find and they're still too big. <laughs> you wanna do that? I'm just gonna... That's not even gonna make it to the... I think it'll... I think it'll exit the shop. I'm scared. And there it is. Huh. Well, hard boiled eggs are next. You got two hard boiled eggs loaded. It looks like nothing can stay together on its way out this barrel. And that's even with, what PSI were we at? We're about 90. 90 instead of 140, is that what we yeah. started out at? Camera's rolling. Corn on the cob. There went our barrel. <laughs> Corn on the cob came out in what looked like three pieces, but it still like broke up, so. Corn on the cob part two, we got ping pong ball water. <laughs> Next up, stick of butter, followed by a ping pong ball. Does it fit? Barely. It's lubed. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be gross. Okay, go on. I 
kind of suspected that none of those would break it so last night I froze a couple bananas and these are rock rock hard Ready? okay three two one what Three, two, one. I thought for sure that was gonna break it. That was like a rock. We at least got some peel. Ooh, it's cold. Some peel stuck on the cinder block. If last attempt to break the cinder block, we're going to shove one of everything. That's, oh, that's gross. <laughs> We've got some corn, some gummy worms, frozen banana, including a stick of butter, hard boiled egg. Uh, I'm sorry, you don't have to Yeah, two then. Okay, last attempt. And go. There we go. We did it. I'm surprised the barrel stayed up. <laughs> I am too. And go. There we go. So will a banana break a cinder block? Uh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> we'll find a way. <laughs> to be continued.